8, 10 and 0. And this is the in-game pattern training sessions. So we're looking at our own personal pattern recognition and seeing how we can mobilize through these games. Our recognition is that really we don't like doing this because the bishop just sits in the center doing nothing. So I'm going to develop the knight. So what we recognize as good positions, they might not be good to the big wide world out there of chess and um, purists and all that, but pattern recognition for our, our own personal usage. Could take this pawn here, the pattern for us says that this is a poison pawn, but because the knight is now supporting this pawn, we could in theory take. It's just that the knight is probably thinking of jumping here for the fried liver. But if it does that, the queen will take it off the board. So I'm going to take the pawn. The queen can come and attack. That was would be another issue, but it hasn't done. Because if our knight then moved back, then they would be able to take the pawn and take and the queen would be on there. So that was slightly really a poison pawn. But we were happy taking it because they would have just got the pawn back and we would have been able to exchange the queen off. So that's why we did that. In this particular case, we could bring the knight here and attack their bishop. It's just that if the bishop does move back, then we are blocking our own pawn. So our recognition is just bringing the knight back. And they have gone for the fried liver type thing, which gives us the position that we don't really like. It's the reverse. If it happens when we're playing black, we end up pushing onto the um, bishop. So it gives us time to move the bishop and then maybe go and castle. We could just hit the knight to say, well, what are you actually doing? So I think we'll do that smaller piece, attacking a higher piece to win a little bit of tempo. So we're comfortable with that type of pattern. So the knight does go back. So we can bring our bishop out just to support even more the pawn, but realistically just to get castled. And she, we shall go and castle. So in-game pattern recognition doesn't mean you're playing the perfect game. It's just what you recognize as being your better positions. So we don't like locking the center down, but we don't also like doing what the opponent wants us to do. So there are cases if we do take, the bishop can take or the pawn can take, and then we can move the bishop and looking to attack the um, queen. Or we can just hit their knight. Do we lose out? Do we lose the pawn? If we attack and they attack, we could take with our pawn. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong, but they can also take and they'll be attacking a higher piece as well. So we have to be mindful of that. Are we ready for that equal exchange? Let's take smaller piece attacking a higher piece, something for them to consider. Again, comfortable with the pattern at this moment in time, where we're not struggling with any unusual business at this moment. The opponent probably didn't play the moves correctly or, or the best, but at the same token, we probably didn't. Right, so I need to now reframe my narration mode because it makes me move fast and then I don't calculate properly. So we mentioned about bringing the bishop here so the queen looks to exchange. They don't have to exchange, but we're feeling that we could potentially go that way. This piece is not developed yet, so this is probably a good idea to bring the bishop here, attacking a higher piece, baiting a pawn. The pawn takes, we take, they take back, it opens up a space around their king. So I think we would go with that first, attacking the higher piece, baiting the pawn. You can always move, we've got places to move to here, wherever. Here even attacking the pawn. So it's what makes me feel comfortable. My pieces are out. My opponent's pieces aren't necessarily out. I feel like my pieces look like they can be working together. So I'm going to take, don't want to deliberate on that. Obviously takes again because the smaller piece is going to be attacking the higher piece. 
Oh, doesn't. So we've got the X-ray through to the Queen. And we can now just botherate the Queen, can't we? And see if there's an exchange going or not. So pattern recognition for yourself is what you'll feel comfortable with and trying not to take yourself too far out of your comfort zones in any way, shape. Like I said, it doesn't mean you're winning anything. This isn't about, you know, all these glorious, flashy ways of getting checkmates and all that sort of stuff. So they've actually moved the queen and doesn't want to exchange. So that means we could attack their knight. They'll probably be looking for the rook coming here, but if they did that, we'd take the queen off the board. They can take our queen off the board. I think we will go with the knight. If the knight does take, we get a check on the king, winning a momentary tempo. Keeping it simple. There are complications, but there are complications for the opponent as well. At the minute they've got no okay so we're going to take with the check on the king so momentary tempo um so the king's gone into the corner it's quite tasty to probably look to try and double the um rooks up here i just feel obviously this is going to be attacked but the bishop does have a little bit of presence here so they're probably looking to get the knight out i'm trying to get their big gun off the board which is the queen so for me instantly i'm looking here but because they haven't traded before, I think they're just not going to um, go for the exchange. So we'll see whether or not they're happy. I don't think they are. They're going to dance somewhere. So all the while we're trying to get some type of attack on the king if he doesn't trade. And if he does trade knights here potentially looking putting a bit of check on the king yes doesn't trade okay so we can still try and pile up on here or can we keep on harassing the queen we could attack the rook rook has got defense can come in here what else do we have so we attack the rook first, just to give them something to think about. Oh, but hold on. Yeah, we attack the rook. The rook attacks our queen. Do we have a space to come back to attack their queen? And then we'll also get our bishop. So that's a very clever move that they've made there. Can't bring the bishop here attacking. Bring the bishop here. It's not going to do much. Yeah, so they're going to get the bishop looking forward with their pattern. Nothing's guarding that area. I want to be attacking their queen. Knight, but the pawn. Bishop attacking the rook. Rook just comes here. So then it's got the pawn, bishop. There's nothing we can do about this pawn here, is there? Ooh, nice diagonal. So what is the finish? Do we just move this bishop out of the way? I think we move this bishop out of the way, targeting even more areas around their, their king. Can bring the queen here when the rook attacks it. Look to side here, try to lean on the pawn. Looks very basic, but I think that's what we will do. Bring the bishop here. Let the rook come and attack. See what, it, what the picture looks like from there. Still plumping for coming here. Rooks, if the rook goes there, we can't go there. But if it doesn't, we can look to harass the queen again. Maybe even with the bishop. But they'll always follow the b-pawn. Okay, we'll stop moving now. So still a bit active with the pieces. We've got some type of focal point for our pattern recognition training. We're trying to work towards the king. Oh, 
they've actually attacked us with the knights. So they're trying to get their pieces out. Is that a lost tempo? There's no point going here because the knight is protecting. But it does give us time to attack their queen, like we mentioned. So we'll bring the queen here. Attacking their queen. Like we said, always for the B pawn. But no. Okay, so we get to double their pawns. Didn't like the idea of us getting a little bit of a mate threat going on here. Okay, but they could have just taken us off the board. So we get to double their pawns, the tiniest of weaknesses. Tiniest of weaknesses. Our bishop could attack their rook or could attack it this way. The bishop is currently protecting this pawn. So if we go there, his rook can come down and attack us. If we go into the corner, it can't come and attack us. That looks like a nice position for the bishop, doesn't it? So, time is running out. Let's just hit the rook and um, see if we can own the file with our rooks because our pattern recognition likes to have that aspect of owning the... Ooh, right, okay. So, let's just get the rooks simply lined up if we can on the back as simple as we can if we're allowed to it looks like we might be okay this bishop's probably needing to come out to get into the game it's uh, blocking knights getting active if we bring this rook like we were going to plan to do bishop can hit here and uh, get the knight off the board but we'll just focus on doubling the rooks for now if they don't see that. Are we getting attacked? Yes, the rook can probably come and attack. But we would probably get away with this bishop attacking the king because it's a check. So the king has to move and then we can take the knight. Oh, no, 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 that's not what's supposed to happen. Right, okay, we can still do this check king has to move no we're not going to do that because we our rook's not going to be safe when you have a piece under attack don't then go and attack another piece unless it's safe to do so so can we go here Ooh, not really we're getting chased around and they're winning position the rook definitely is trapped but we could go here but then his rook takes bishop takes and uh, it looks like we're gonna have to retreat the, the rook ah uh, dude come on we need to move faster right let's bring the rook back because i the pattern seems to be getting the rook trapped at this moment so maybe we can try and double up from long range i might have overthought that situation oh okay let's go back and we're going to try and go for that again if we can as if they're doing the same move it's almost like they've dried up. Let's go with that. And we're going to go and attempt to go for this. They may just go back again. Oh, I think they know what we're trying to do, don't they? Damn. Let's attack this bishop. Look to squish the king with a checkmate. That's a fancy checkmate. That's a lot going on there. I think the rook's coming here. That's a fancy checkmate. Pattern training. If we get it off. Looks like we're getting it off. Oh my days. Pattern training. The answer to chess. 